there are road trips and then there are dream road trips right now jessica and i are stopping off on the side of the road well the 17 mile scenic road to visit this it's called the lone cypress it's right over you can see it right about there at that tip of that peak overlooking the ocean Talk about a beautiful view, right? Do you know what this feels like? What does it feel like? This little tiny inland with all the rocks and stuff. What's that? Like you would see a mermaid here. You kind of have a mermaid feel with that color of your hair. So in case you're wondering, I'm going to point it out. That right there is the Lone Cypress. Pretty peaceful. For the past week, Jessica and I have been traveling through Northern California filming new content for the channel. Today we're heading back home to Hollywood and instead of taking the main highway, we decided we're going to take the scenic route. Today we're driving along 17 mile road, which is one of the most scenic roads in the entire country. Then we're going to hit up Big Sur, overlooking the ocean, all the way down the coast, back to LA. And guess what? We're taking you with us. You about ready to head back home, baby ghoul? That's not my name. That's not your name? No. You changed your name? Yeah. What's your name now? Ready? I made a song. You made a song? All right, let's hear it. My name is Puff. My name is Puff. My name is from, from, from a horror movie. That was terrible. It sounds much better in my head. I still like it. It's coming my way wherever I go Hard luck is that it stays Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always coming my way Our next stop on our relaxing home drive is a place called Ghost Trees at Pescadero Point. Now not only does it say ghost, I mean that makes it grim enough for us to visit it, but there is a really cool piece of history about this place. So, let's go check it out. Beyond beautiful, right? Yeah, there's uh, several walkways you can take. You can go that way, you can go this way. I don't know which way you're supposed to go, but I think that's the last here. Let's go take a look. It looks like for a quarter or two, you can get a little telescope to get a quite a view. But Jessica was just pointing out to me that over here, there's this really fun sign. It says Ghost Trees at Pescadero Point. Ghost Trees at Pescadero Point is a unique stop full of spooky, sun-bleached cypress trees. It's also a legendary big wave surf spot with swells approaching 50 feet in the right winter conditions it's pretty wild like i enjoy the thought of going surfing baby ghoul but i don't think i could ever get to the point where i'm going to you know tackle a 50 foot or a 60 foot wave i would die that sounds like expert level i would be haunting this place haunting the ocean haunting the ghost trees it looks like what we've come here for is on the other side of this big tree. So we're going to walk over to that side. That's cool though. It looks like it's all twisted. Like a, it looks fake almost, doesn't it? Like a yeah. Tim Burton tree. It does look like a Tim Burton tree. So here's the story about the ghost trees. There are old cypress trees here. Now cypress trees, in case you didn't know, they could live up to about 500 years old. And the trees that are here, and you're going to see them in a moment, some of them, are dead and they are this white ash gray that kind of well that's what how they got the name the ghost trees and they kind of look like like ghostly figures or some sort of apparition or a banshee screeching out over the ocean right 
I also mentioned that this place has a little bit of a really cool piece of history. Well, this is probably one of the toughest surfing areas in the country, I guess you would say. It's called Ghost Trees. Basically, out there in the water, there are rocks that certain times of the year, waves can get up to 60 feet tall and people come out here to surf like crazy but they can't get out there so the only way for the surfers to get out to the water they have to be taken out there by jet ski dropped off and then they surf their way back in it's pretty wild i looked up some videos online of these people surfing here at ghost tree and it's impressive I'm gonna walk over here to see if we can get a closer look at things This is something else, isn't it, baby ghoul? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Talk about relaxing. This is a nice treat after the long, crazy week that we've had. I tell you what, since moving to California, my stress levels have gone from 500% all the way down to what the heck is stress? I couldn't even begin to tell you what stress is anymore. I don't mean to get all mushy, but I really do love our life. I love being here with Jessica and every single day that we have together, it's an adventure. I don't care if it comes across mushy and you wanna hear it or not, I'm thankful for it and every single day, it's just a blessing as grim as things can get, right? Our journey through Big Sur begins right here, 26 miles down this road is Big Sur, 337 miles is Los Angeles home. And I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to see the Hearst Castle, which is about 90 miles down the road. Never been there, I've always seen pictures. It'd be really cool if we can get there and it's still open, we shall see. There it is, the world famous Bixby Bridge here in Big Sur. Pretty much if you've ever seen a car commercial where the car goes across a bridge and it looks very mountainous and very beautiful next to the ocean, this is that bridge. It is drop dead beautiful. I just noticed this. You see down by the corner of your screen, you see that little cave down there? I can never get tired of this. I feel so dead. Sweet, pretty girl. Sweet. Next place we're going to stop here in Big Sur is the Nepenthe restaurant and the Phoenix gift shop. Now this place, even if you don't buy anything, even if you don't eat anything, has an amazing view overlooking the ocean. So baby goal, the restaurant here is actually really, really good and they have some outdoor dining that overlooks the ocean, but I actually have a memory here in this gift shop. Years ago, I was in here and guess who I ran into? flee from the red hot chili peppers I actually have a picture taken with him the food here is absolutely amazing but Jessica and I really aren't that hungry but we came here for the views we're always about the views here in California 
and the view from the back patio at Nepenthe, it's pretty. It's, it's one of the best. Jessica's already over there. Cloud covers the sun. Never stays a day. A battle's always a coming my way. 